What's happening YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be cracking on with the Alfa Romeo but I think we might already have a bit of a problem. Let me show you. So as you can see here the Alfa Romeo is just in front of us and it sucks away out of the way of everybody in the corner of this little car park. This Nissan Qashqai has lived here for a while I don't think it worked. Problem is I think the battery's going to be dead. I haven't switched the car on it's unlocked, that's a good sign. I haven't switched the car on for a while, I'll just get in. Um, the last time, in the last video that you've watched and you saw my brother coming over, we had to bump start the car and the car's not been run. So if it starts, I'll be impressed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> no way! I honestly can't believe that that started. And it sounds sweet as a nut. This car, it went, if any of you buy this car, you get an old car. This is a belting little car. Right, so today, like I said, then we're cracking on with the Alpha project and we're going to be tackling um, one of the things that it failed its MOT on and that is a coolant leak. I've just set the engine cover off. It's leaking. If you've seen my other videos, if you haven't, if you haven't seen the other videos where I talk about everything that's wrong with this Alpha Romeo and it's the cheapest Alpha Romeo Giulia in the UK, then make sure you go and check that out. But today, we're going to be tackling this coolant leak and it's leaking from the EGR valve uh, cooler cap. I've got a brand new, genuine Alpha one down here uh, and we're going to be looking to get that sorted so let me show so you can see here where all this white is that's where it's leaking from you can see it like all down the bottom there it's fucking absolutely covered the manifold as i said you can see i've got this brand new replacement i'm not 100 percent sure which way i think it goes that way on the car just there right so let me i'm going to replace it now now from the from the research that i've done you don't have to drain the whole coolant on on the car but let me explain why i'm so you can see here in our coolant expansion tab it looks quite gunky and if i take the lid off show you inside you can see it is and that is because the previous owners of the car knew there was a coolant leak but they didn't know where it was coming from and they put like a rad sealer if that's the correct term in there so the coolant in there is absolutely filthy it's gunky to, to try and seal up any leaks so the first thing we're going to do is get the car in the air get the bottom holes off the radiator and just drain all the coolant out and i've got brand new fresh miller's oil coolant with distilled water to go in there so that's our first job let's get this car in the air let's get this coolant out the car right this has been giving me a little bit of pain so i've took the under tray off and i've took the so the under tray that's underneath the engine i've took off but to access the rad pack section i've also took off the bit that sits behind the bumper so sure so this crusty looking thing here is the bit that sits underneath the engine and then this plastic bit here sits behind the bumper which is giving me access to the radiator now i don't know where you're going to see this but i think i can't see so i can't see a drain plug on the radiator all you alpha people are going to be telling me oh it's there right there in front of you it's just there max just undo that bolt there and it comes out that easy but i can't see it so i think the only option i've got then is i'm going to pull out at the lowest holes which is which is just there where that silver clip is where my hand is it's just there that's the lowest hole so i'm going to try and take that off to drain the coolant that's the plan doesn't sound like a good one to me but it's the only one i've got right now right so i've had a bit of a wiggle i think it feels i've got it to move and it feels like it's not far coming off so try and catch it in this bucket here it goes Oh, yeah. There we go. Take the coolant cap off. Let it, let it drain. So here we go then. I start this job by removing the boost pipe that connects to the EGR valve and I also remove the thermostat housing to free up a bit of space as well as taking the battery out. I begin to learn very quickly while doing this job that is extra, extra fiddler, which we'll get into in the next cut. Patience is a virtue with this job. This is very, very fiddly. So let me show you this on the on the new housing. Then I'll show you where I'm up to the one trying to get this one off the car. So this is how it this is how it'll sit on the car. Yeah. So there's a bolt holding it here. Yeah. There's one here. If you look underneath, 
one there and then the other corner there's one there and then there's a the one in the middle just in there so i know what you're thinking this one's probably the hardest but it's not been so where mine's been leaking on this nut on this t30 it's absolutely destroyed it so i'll show you what i've had to do so this is my housing here so i've took this boost pipe off here i've also took the thermostat out here i removed the battery to give me some extra space i've got all the four bolts on apart from this one here i don't know how you can see apart from this one in the top corner and what i've actually done is i've used a chisel to snap the housing for this so i can then get a set of grips in there and then, and then i'm taking the bolt out because because the inside of that that t30 is absolutely ruined now i'm hoping that i can put one of the good t30s back in that and use one that bad t30 in a different one that's more accessible so i won't have to fiddle about as much but for now back to the gopro point of view i hope you're enjoying the point of view and we'll um we'll get the rest of this this bolt out what i'm having to do is put these grips in here and then nice and just on the smallest setting and just big nice big squeeze and then turn and that's as much as i'm getting every time but it is working it's coming out very slowly <laughs> All the bolts are out, it should now. Oh yes, there she is. Come on. This has been an absolute nightmare. Oh, come on. So the EGR cooler is out, here it is. So the cooler actually is this bit. Now you can see all this red, all this red gunk here. I'm gonna clean off because that, that's the that rad sealer that the old previous owner put in so i'm going to clean all that up off i've had a look now i don't know where it was leaking from could the seal have gone i don't know the seal might have gone but we've got two brand new seals we've got two brand new seals in our kit so i'm going to clean this up clean this cooler up and we'll go from there i'm going to go and clean this um in the kitchen sink so this is our new gasket that goes on so I'm going to put this on first because it looks like it's got a groove to sit in we're ready to start re the real the rebuild process so I'm going to start with clearly the best place to start is getting this big stupid thing back on so it sits it sits on the car that way I put the new gaskets in there I've cleaned it up the best I can and it sits that way so that's what we're going to do so I might see if I can get it from underneath, that might be a better option. I've got, I'm getting it on. This one. Coolant. 
I'm not going to set that holes. Fuck's sake! Right. So the last clip you saw was me swearing because I've not connected the radiator holes at the bottom. And it was getting late. I, I've read online that this job should take no more than 90 minutes. If you're reading, if you're watching that thinking, you know, I've got a good two hours to do this, done, it's going to take you longer. <laughs> I can assure you of that. So we had a bit of a problem as well. So I'll talk you through the problem and the fix that I've done that I've not recorded, but I'll explain it to you. Right, so we've changed this. This is the most stupid thing ever. Like, why do they use Torx bolts? What's wrong with a bolt? Like a 10 mil nut with a washer on them Torx bolts are a joke. And then to bleed the system we've filled up the expansion bottle there's a bleed valve here this blue bit that's on top of the thermostat and then there's one here now i've got this allen key but this is a plastic like 10 mil bolt and, and that is where the problem started so this 10 mil this 10 mil nut i managed to get off not a problem put it back on it it snaps because it's plastic in it so with the coolant cycles of the car getting hot cold hot cold the, the plastic just doesn't become brittle why not do what i've done so what i've done all i've done there is i've got a, an m6 allen bolt um, with a washer a rubber washer and a metal washer to hold it all in place it's aluminium so it can't rot it can't corrode and the next person who ever does has this car after me and they decide to do it it's not it's not it's just frustrating that these design flaws are built into cars so i've been bleeding the system i've had the car running for about half an hour it's just about getting up to temperature so i'm going to leave it running now and wait for the fans to kick in i've got the heaters on full inside to you know to fully bleed the system and i'm just going to leave it running so i'll catch up with you probably in about 20 30 minutes and see how we're getting oh no this is a strange cut in the video but you actually join me now paddle boarding so I was editing the video this morning, I realised that I haven't actually filmed an outro because I was that stressed trying to do this job. EGR Coolock is hard work, but it was done nonetheless. And well, what's, what's going to be the outcome for the Alpha Boot? Is it going to pass its MOT? That will likely be the next video. No, it won't. The service will be the next video. Then it's MOT time and do we sell it? What do we do next? Do we sell it? Do we use it? You decide. But for now, should they subscribe? Benny, comment down below, like, I'll leave you to the paddleboarding. Thanks for watching.